very good afternoon to all the respectable souls. With great pride, I wish you this good afternoon, as today is the day to take pride in whatever we do, to take pride in what we are and where we are. And I am proud to be here today, along with my co-hosts Gunjita Gupta and Uvashi, to welcome you all to this special assembly of ours. India is a cradle of human race, birthplace of human speech, the mother of history, the great grandmother of tradition, the most valuable and the most artistic material in history of man are the treasure up in India only. And this India of us became republic and the modern India was born on 26 January 1950. Our constitution came into force and on this day our country became a full-fledged republic. Our first president Dr. Rajendra Prasad once said that we all have brought the whole of this land together under the jurisdiction of one constitution, one union and it takes our responsibility to take the welfare of the men and women living in it. This day is celebrated with colorfully organized cultural events in every part of our country. The streets hum with their patriotic songs with the true spirit in their heart as they share in the celebration. The whole nation just witnessed the Great Republic Day Parade and now Continuing with the same spirit and enthusiasm, we, the students of Kamal Moral School, have come up with a small endeavor towards our nation. So let's begin with this special assembly on Republic Day. How majestic a tricolored national flag looks when it flutters high in the sky. The three color of our national flag, the saffron, the white and the green symbolizes the sacrifice of the millions who died fighting for it and peace and prosperity that prevails in our country. So to begin with the Republic Day Assembly, I would like to call upon our Honorable Chairman Sir, Mr. Wade Tannen to hold Holds the national flag, symbol of our national pride and identity. synchronization and teamwork. The drum beat rolls up, the band strikes and the high-pitched voice issues a command. The synchronized way a swing of arms in the sound of thudding feet stirs something between us. To stir our souls with true nationalism and patriotism, let's have a look on the march past done by the devoted and disciplined students of KMS.
Now, I would like to request our Honorable Chairman Sir to share his valuable words with us and guide us. Principal of the school, member of the staff, parents and dear students. At the very outset, I wish each one of you a happy Republic Day 2022. When our nation celebrates 73rd Republic Day today, let us pledge to take part in nation building in our own unique way. It is highly invitable for all of us to uphold our rich tradition and cherish our culture. We are celebrating the Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav to ensure that our future generation are well aware of all the numerous unthinkable sacrifices made for their freedom by the various known and unknown freedom fighters. This year, I feel proud to inform that the student of Kamal, Vandana, Gurugram and Trinity Group of Educational Institute, Tilly NCR, have for the sixth time been bestowed upon the opportunity to showcase their dancing skill at the prestigious platform Republic Day 2022 at Raj Park, New Delhi. I would like to end by quoting Douglas MacArthur, no man in entitled to the blessing of freedom unless he be vigilant in its preservation. Jai Hind! Indians are blazing a trail with their vision and leadership.
ownership of major companies there is a whole range of companies like IBM cognizant and adopt to tech giants like Google and Microsoft mobile memets like Nokia and content kings like only fans we are the CEOs of Indian origin upping the game no doubt now I will stop myself from further saying as our next presentation has a lot more to say a gracious welcome to all you must have seen so many patriots who lived and died just for the nation but have ever thought of those who have gone abroad and worked for the pride of our nation you will be proud to know that indians had played and are playing a key role in the success of technology powerhouses globally whether it is google to microsoft to the indians run some of the world's biggest and the best companies one of those pride indians is rakesh kapoor who was still september 2019 a global ceo of rb a 13 billion euro global leader in consumer health and hygiene company with power brand such as Dettol, Lysol, Durex, Vanish and Strepsils. These brands are available nearly in 200 countries. Now, things which made him different from others. He believed that business leaders have the power to avoid this trade off between doing good and doing well. They should over time configure their whole business in a way that ensures that by doing well they are doing good. This is why during his time at Abi he created a new purpose for the company. Now let's talk about his inspiration. He was born to India and spent half of his working life there. He have seen first hand that poor health is a racial, social and economic burden for the people. He always believed that people should be empowered to make the right choices and to be healthy every day to live better life. And that is what inspired him to do such a great job for the maintenance of whole of the world. Suresh C. Vishwani is a senior director and operating partner of the Investron Group. He is on the board of group companies including that is Innova AG, Sivin Globe Solutions and Omega Healthcare. Suresh is an independent director with Vodafone Idea Limited and an external advisory to Bain Consultant. Suresh Viswani has previously worked as the general manager solution delivering and transformation at IBM Global Technology Services and headed the global applications and BPO services business for Dell Services. Padmashri Varya is a founder, president and the chief executive officer at Fiber. She is also the chief executive officer of Net TV US. She has also served as a chief development officer of Net EV as well as the member of its board of directors. Anushri Warrior has been widely recognized for her creative visionary leadership. Forbes had named her on the world's 100 most powerful women of the three years running in 2013. The International Allies of Women gave her the World of Differences Award. Warrior hold a Bachelor of Science degree in Chemical Engineering from the Indian Institute of Technology in New Delhi and a Master of Science degree in in a chemical engineering from Cornell University. In addition to Native's board, Warrior serves on the board of Microsoft as well. 
Vijay was born in Madras, now Chennai, Tamil Nadu, India. His mother Lakshmi was a stenographer and his father Raghunath Pichai was an electrical engineer at GEC, the British Clungometer. His father also had a manufacturing plant that produced electrical components. Pichai grew up in a two-room apartment in Ashoknagar, Chennai and had a Hindu upbringing. Pichai completed schooling in Jawahar Vidyalaya School, Senior Secondary, a central board of secondary education school in Ashoknagar, Chennai and completed the class 12 from Vanavani school at IIT Madras. He earned his degree from IIT Kanpur in metallurgy engineering and is a distinguished alumnus from that institute. He honored as MS from Stanford University in material science and engineering and an MBA from Watson School of University of Pennsylvania. It is not about ideas. It is about making ideas happen. This word totally suits to this lady. First black woman to be the US Vice President Kamala Devi Harris. She was born on October 20, 1964, Oakland, California, USA. She was an American politician who was elected to the US Senate as a Democrat in 2016. She was also the state's attorney general 2011 to 17. In now 2020, she she was elected Vice President of United States of America on the ticket of Joe Biden. You will be surprised to know her family also belongs to India. She did Political Science and Economics BA 1986 at Harvard University, earned a law degree in 1989. From Hastings College, she always wanted to empower girls and women and that is why she always believed in confidence. Indira Noi Pepsico Noi was born in Madras, now known as Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Noi did her schooling in Holy Angels Anglo Indian High Secondary School in Tinagar. Beginning her career in India, Noi held product manager position at Johnson & Johnson and textile firm Meteor Bradstreet. Sarsa while attending Yale School of Management, Noi completed her summer internship with Bose Allen Hamilton in 1980. Noe joined the Boston Consulting Group BCG as a strategy consultant and then worked at Motorola as Vice President and Director of Corporate Strategy and Planning, followed by a stint at Asia Brown Bovere. Next we have Sanjay Kumar Jha, a well-known personality and the CEO of Global Foundry, a semiconductor foundry that produces chips. Before that, he has served as a CEO of Motorola, Mobility and Co. of Qualcomm. He joined Motorola as a co-CEO in 2008. Proudfully, he was born to India in Bhagalpur, Bihar and hold a BS from University of Liverpool and PhD from University of Stratoclyde. His humble nature towards his employees make him different from others. His smiles adds to his well-groomed behavior. His love towards his work inspired him in the long run which made him unique from all others. Shantanu Narayan Adopt Systems Narayan grew up in Hyderabad, India in a Telugu-speaking family and was the second son of a mother who taught American literature and a father who ran a plastics company. He attended Hyderabad Public School. He earned a bachelor's degree in electronics and communication engineering from University College of Engineering, Osmania, University in Hyderabad. He moved to the United States to complete his education and in 1986 received a master's degree in computer science for Bowling Green State University in Ohio. In 1993, he received an MBA from the Haas School of Business, University of California, Berkeley. 
Next in the list we have Ajay Banga an exclusive chairman of the board of directors of Mastercard he moved into the role following 11 years in the company's president and the chief executive of he is the graduate of Delhi University and Indian Institute of Management Ahmedabad Ajay Banga is co-founder of the Cyber Readiness Institute his journey he also worked in Nestle and PepsiCo in the starting and later in mastercard he also won so many awards such as padma shri award by the president of india satyan narayan nadila is an indian born american business executive he is executive chairman and ceo of microsoft and before becoming ceo he was the executive vice president of microsoft clouds and enterprise group nadila was born in hyderabad of present day telangana India into a Telugu speaking Hindu family his mother prabhavati was a sanskrit lecturer and his father bhu puram nandela yudhakar was an indian administrative service officer of the 1962 batch nandela attended the hyderabad public school humbaran before receiving a bachelor's in electric engineering from the manipal institute of technology in karnataka in 1988 nandela traveled to usa to study an ms in computer science at the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee receiving his degree in 1990 later he received the MBA from University of Chicago Board School of Business in 1997 yoga the art of healthy living blessed we are that this art is known to us sun is a life source of our planet every organism on earth derives life from some elements of sun surya namaskar or sun salutation essentially means bowing down to the sun the principle of surya namaskar is to digest the sun's intuitive wit and make it a part of our to reap its many physical and spiritual benefits our next presentation will showcase before you the students of kms performing this miracle of yoga the surya namaskar So let us tell you the part of India and its status in UN. 
द यूनाइटेड नेशन यू एन इज एन इंटर गवर्नमेंटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एमिंग टू मेंटेन इंटरनेशनल पीस एंड सिक्योरिटी डेवलप फ्रेंडली रिलेशन अमंग नेशन अचीव इंटरनेशनल कोऑपरेशन एंड टू बी अ सेंटर फॉर हार्मोनाइजिंग द एक्शन ऑफ नेशन इट इज द वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट एंड मोस्ट फेमिलियर इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द यू एन इज हेड क्वार्टर ऑन द इंटरनेशनल टेरिटरी इन न्यू यॉर्क सिटी यू एस ए It has the representation from all over the world. India was among the original members of United Nations that signed the declaration by United Nations at Washington DC. As a founding member of the United Nations, India strongly support the purposes and principles of the UN and has made significant contribution. Representation of Indians at the UN. T.S. Tirumurthy. He is an Indian civil servant. He is currently the permanent representative of India to the United Nations. The permanent representative or UN ambassador is the head of the permanent mission to the United Nations in the New York City. Ambassador T.S. Tirumurthy joined the Indian Foreign Service in 1985. He has also served in India diplomatic missions before being appointed as the permanent representative to the UN. He served as the Secretary of Economic Relations in the Ministry of External Affairs India. On 19 May 2020, he took over as the permanent representative of the India to the United Nations, succeeding Syed Akbaruddin. Dr. Harshvardhan Goel had served as the Minister of Health and Family Welfare, Minister of Science and Technology and Minister of Earth Sciences in the BJP government of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He was elected to the office of chairperson of executive board of the World Health Organization from May 2020. He has a rich experience in public health. He is the pioneer of India's successful pulse polio program and has been in the forefront in the fight against tobacco and many other issues. He has great experience in this field. Dalveer Bhandari is an Indian member of International Court of Justice. He is a former judge of Supreme Court of India. He is also the former Chief Justice of Bombay High Court and a judge of Delhi High Court. Justice Bhandari was nominated by the Government of India as its official candidate in January 2012. The vacancy arose after the resignation of sitting court judge On Shaukat Al Khasamne from Jordan on being appointed as the Prime Minister. In the elections held on 27 April 2012, Bhandari secured 122 votes in the United Nations General Assembly against 58 from his rival Florentino Fasciano, who was nominated by the government of Philippines. He was re-elected for a second term on 20 November 2017 after UK's nominee Christopher Greenwood withdrew his nomination. Mukesh Sharma has been appointed as a honorary member of World Health Organization WHO Global Air Pollution and Health Technical Advisory Group. He is associated with the Civil Engineering Department at IIT Kanpur and an air quality expert has melded rigorous research with policy engagement. He is working on how member countries could achieve the sustainable development goals which is SDG related to air pollution and health in his latest summit he addressed the issue of protecting the planet and ensure peace and prosperity for the people and the planet honorary mention mrs vandana tandon principal of kamal model senior secondary school She is Asia Africa Consortium Global Peace Ambassador. She got this opportunity because her life exemplifies the ideals of living for the sake of others and dedicated herself to the practices which promotes universal moral values, interreligious cooperation and respecting the United Nations human rights and the establishment of culture of peace. Not only these, there are many more who are representing India at the world level. We must feel proud of them. Thank you and have a great day.
Today we will have rainbows of programs to entertain ourselves with enthralling performances of our participants. Now the students of our school are going to draw the strings of our heart and add their soothing voice to cherish our souls by chanting beautiful songs. Songs to take the pride with as these songs are the patriotic songs composed indigenously by our school's music teachers and students. So to fill our heart with the true spirit of patriotism, let's have our next performance. आसमान में चलो तिरंगा झंडा हम लहराए आया है गणतंत्र दिवस पे हम सब खुशी मनाए आया है गणतंत्र दिवस पे हम सब खुशी मनाए अगर जरूरत पड़े देश पर जीवन सुमल चढ़ाए हम सब करे राष्ट्र पर अपने धन मन धन बलिदान 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 भेदभाव को भूल बने हम केवल हिंदुस्तानी भेदभाव को भूल बने हम केवल हिंदुस्तानी करे प्रगति भारत जग में हो विख्यात कहानी राम राज की हमें कल्पना पूरी कर दिखलानी राम राज की हमें कल्पना पूरी कर दिखलानी बतला दे फिर सारे जग को हम है वीर महान बतला दे फिर सारे जग को हम है वीर महान 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 हम रहे गणतंत्र हमारा 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 
we are celebrating this Republic Day and feeling safe in our homes, then that's because of our defense forces. If each and every single citizen of our country is feeling safe and protected, that's because of our defense forces, as well as because of our unshakable faith in our defense system. So let's take a look into our defense system through our next presentation, which is going to make us so proud on our defense system and proud to be an Indian. So showing before you the Atmanirbhar Bharat. Light Combat Helicopter Developed by the state-owned Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, the LCH is a twin-engine helicopter weighing between 5 to 8 tons. It is the world's only attack helicopter capable of taking off and landing at altitudes as high as 5000 meters. It can operate in various temperatures ranging from minus 50 degrees Celsius on snow peaks to 50 degrees Celsius in the desert. Indian Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi recently handed over this indigenous light combat helicopter to the Indian Air Force during the Rashtriya Raksha Samparan Parv celebrations to mark the 75th year of independence held at Jhansi. The IAF Chief Marshal Vivek Ram Chaudhary symbolically received LCH in the presence of several dignitaries. Pinaka is a multiple rocket launcher produced in India and developed by Defence Research and Development Organisation (DRDO) for the Indian Army. The system has a maximum range of 40 km for Mark 1 and 60 km for Mark 1 enhanced version. It can fire 12 high explosive rockets in 44 seconds. The system is mounted on the top of a tank truck for stability. Pinaka saw service during the Kargil War, where it was successful in neutrifying enemy position on the top of a mountain. At present, seven regiments of Pinaka have been inducted by the Indian Army. Pinaka is India's highly successful and most reliable guided weapon system. Barak 8 is a long-range surface-to-air missile which is developed jointly by Israel's Israel Aerospace Industries and India's Defense Research and Development Organization. It is mainly developed to tackle airborne threats. Though it is a long-range surface-to-air missile, it also has a land version available, which is used by the Indian Army and is known as medium-range surface-to-air missile. Talking about specifications, the length of this missile is 4.5 meter, weight 275 kilograms, speed of Mach 2, which is 2450 km per hour and an operational range of 0.5 to 90 kilometers. The long range version of this missile was first tested on 30 December 2015 and the medium range version was tested on 30 June 2016. The long range version of this missile is successfully deployed by the INA and the medium range version is expected to be deployed by 2023. Astra is an all-weather, beyond visual range, active radar homing air-to-air missile developed by the DRDO of India. Astra is the first air-to-air missile developed by India. It is designed so that it is capable of engaging the targets at a short distance as well as a long distance, deriving from 10 km to over 110 km. Its specifications are, its weight is 154 kg. Its height is 3.84 meters or we can say 12.6 feet and its warhead's weight is 15 kgs. Its warhead is a high explosive pre-fragmented HMX slash PU. This missile was first tested on 30th May 2018 and it was successfully tested in September last year by the Indian Air Force of the course of Odisha. Man Portable Anti-Tank Guided Missile is an Indian third-generation fire-and-forget anti-tank guided missile derived from NAG 80GM. It is currently under development by Indian Defence Research and Development Organisation in partnership with VEM Technologies Private Limited. It is a low-weight, long cylindrical missile with four fins around its mid part of 1300 mm and its diameter is 120 mm with an aluminium and carbon fiber launch tube. The missile has a weight of 14.5 kg and can travel to minimum distance of 200 to 300 meters and the maximum of 4 kilometers.
फुल टेस्ट ऑन जनवरी इलेवन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू मार्ग अबूमेंट आत्मनिर्भर भारत कैंपेन एंड वुड टेंशन द इंडियन आर्मी DRDO Smart Anti-Airfield Weapon, also known as SAW, it is a long-range precision-guided anti-airfield weapon designed by the India's Defence Research and Development Organisation. It is capable of engaging ground target with very high precision. Specifications: Total weight is 125 kg, warhead weight is 80 kg, and operational range is 100 km. It was first tested on May 2016 and finalized on September 2020 for the Indian Navy and Air Force. Akash Weapon System and indigenously developed all weather air defense weapon system which is highly explosive, pre-fragmented and which can engage multiple threats at a time. flame which stands for fagot launcher adopted to milan equipments it is cost effective launcher which is mainly used to deploy to milan missiles it is easy to deploy operates the missiles on thermal battery and also it is man portable never is the first indigenously designed and developed long range all weather subsonic cruise missile which was established by aeronautical development establishment a drdo laboratory in bangalore it has a great sea skimming capabilities the missile can be launched by multiple platforms and can be fired from sea land and through multiple mobile launchers It is capable of launching conventional and nuclear warheads. It can hit up to a range of 1500 kilometers and has a length of 6 meter with a weight of around 15 kg. It is a two stage missile with the first stage using solid fuel and second stage using liquid fuel. It carry the designated warhead with a speed of 0.6 to 0.7 match. and it is guided by inertial navigation system also nirbhay is considered to be a far better missile if it becomes operational agni p or agni prime is a medium range ballistic missile developed by defense research and development program and is a successor of agni 1 or agni 2 missiles on 28 december 2021 the second successful launch was conducted from the port of odisha missile carries an improved guidance package and provision system covering 2000 km with 1.5 tons of weight agni p is 50% less in weight comparing with agni 3 agni p can be launched by both rails and roadways and can be stored for a longer period it can be transported all across the world as per the requirement it can be used to attack enemies armies in indo pacific pralay missile a quasi ballistic missile has a low trajectory and while it is largely ballistic the missile has a range of 150 to 500 km and has been developed by the defense research and development organization drdo according to specifications given by eventual user the army The missile was tested from the Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam Island off the coast of Odisha and met all its objectives. Pralay will be the longest-range surface-to-surface missile in the inventory of the army. The very reason of celebrating this day is our constitution. So how can we forget the most important part of our constitution? That is its preamble. The preamble contains the ideals to which our constitution seeks to achieve. It gives direction and purpose to the constitution. It outlines the objectives of the constitution. So now you came to know about how important our preamble is. So now we present before you our students reading the golden lines of our preamble. <laughs> India having solemnly resolved to constitute India into sovereign socialist secular and democratic republic and to secure to its all citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expressions belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity
security of the nation. In our Constituent Assembly, this 26th day of November 1949, we do hereby enact, adopt, and give to ourselves this Constitution. चलिए अब हम सब झांकियों के झरोके से झांकते हैं भारत के दो प्रांतों में स्थापित किए गए आश्चर्यों में तो चलो आवो पधारो गुजरात मा दीज आर द वर्ड्स ऑफ वेलकम इन द लैंग्वेज ऑफ गुजरात रिनाउ फॉर इट्स टेम्पल्स बीचेस टाउन्स एंड हिस्टोरिक कैपिटल्स गुजरात रियली हैज रिच कल्चरल लेगेसी वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज हिल्स रिसोर्ट्स एंड नेचुरल गार्डन आर द गिफ्ट ऑफ गुजरात Sculpture, handicrafts, arts, festivals also make the state rich. Gujarat is also among the most technologically advanced housing, the largest petrochemical complex of the country. Keeping the spirit of technological advancement, Gujarat has a proud of India. Yes, I'm talking about the Statue of Unity. Now you can see on your screens the unique work of art the statue of unity this is a colossal statue of indian statesman and one of our greatest leaders sardar vallabh bhai patel this is world's tallest statue of 182 meters this statue will be able to withstand earthquakes and wind speed up to around 100 kilometers per second So this wonder is here in front of you and we all at this moment should feel so proud on it Now from Gujarat let's take you to Uttar Pradesh the first freedom struggle of India marked with civil mutiny started from Meerut by Mangal Pandey Not only this our religious idol Sri Ram was born here Sri Ram's birthplace is very pious Ayodhya city and in the city of Ayodhya there is going to be constructed a grand temple of Sri Ram This temple will be 235 feet in width 360 feet in length and 161 feet in height This temple will be the largest temple of India So ladies and gentlemen now showing on the screen the sacred Ram mandir of Ayodhya For this Sri Ram Mandir, holy soil from 2,587 places to be used as foundation, holy water from 150 rivers is going to be used. A time capsule is to be placed 2,000 feet below the temple. Gold and silver bricks will also be used. No use of iron or steel will be made in the construction. So here this marvel of art and pride of India in front of you the Shri Ram Mandir of Ayodhya. To zor se bolo Jai Shri Ram. Well well well. Now it's time for the show stopper of our Republic Day program. We all must have just witnessed the grand, auspicious and prestigious Republic Day parade of India. And in that parade, the performances of students of various school really steal the show. So, I feel immense pleasure and I feel so proud to announce that the talented students of our school have performed on Rajput in front of our honorable president on the beats of song Jaghosh aur usi Jaghosh ki gunj hum yahan tak le aaye hain so presenting before you the same Jaghosh performed by the students of our school so ladies and gentlemen give a thousand rounds of applause for this performance please शत नमन उन्हें जय घोष भरा हाथ 
हाथ तिरंगा लेके हाथ तिरंगा मस्तक अटल रहा नमन है इस जर्रे जर्रे को जिनका भी योगदान रहा कुछ के नाम उजागर है और कुछ का गुम नाम रहा कोटि कोटि प्रणाम है आजादी के वीर सपूतों को जिनके बलिदानों के कारण आज देश खड़ा गणतंत्र की मंगल बेला में है आस यही विश्वास यही ज्ञान शक्ति से भारत महाशक्ति 